It's Smack the Guru. This is my review on All American Season 5, Episode 13. If this your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Everybody click that like button. And I also want to say thanks for everybody for subscribing. I passed 5,000 subscribers. I appreciate it. Now, this episode was loaded with a lot of stuff. And I'm going to be doing more of the videos throughout the week. So make sure you subscribe. But we got to start with none other than Liv. I mean, she was going through it this episode. It starts off, she thinking about her father, true girl dad. And then she got to go into Layla Jordan room and ask them for help. And they did it. One of them videos I'm going to make is about the sad truth about Liv's situation. Even though I think Liv going to be good. But when I say the truth. Is her and her addiction and how she going to deal with this for the rest of her life. And they mentioned how certain people don't have a lot of people around that can help. Don't have a great support team and they really struggle with this. And as you get older, uh, it gets harder to have that support team around you. But Liv got a support team. Everybody come through. Coop come through. Asha come through. Layla and Jordan come through and i like that scene when they was younger too because it shows how it never goes as planned and she won't have her dad there to give her away you see so at her wedding jordan gonna have to give her away somebody gonna have to give her away other than her dad and she never would have expected that but while she was struggling this whole episode everybody was struggling laura struggling she being strong for her daughter Spence struggling, he being strong for his girl. Jordan struggling, he being strong for his sister. Layla struggling, she being strong for Jordan and Liv. You know, everybody going through it. Asher going through it, he being strong for Jamie. You know, everybody's going through it. It affected everybody. Jabari at the school going through it. He he just wilding out. Preach being strong for him because Preach going through it. So everybody was helping everybody. And then I really liked this episode, how certain people held people accountable. And let's talk about Liv and her sponsor. Because she came through and really made a difference. Everybody made a difference. Don't get it twisted. But what she told Liv was the honest truth. And Liv can take it from her a little easier because Liv knows she been through what Liv going through. You see what I'm saying? So she could take that advice. She told Liv, yo, these people can't be there for you forever. That's the truth. They can't just stop their life and just, I right, live hurting. Let's just put life on hold for weeks at a time. No, nah, they can't do that. She like, yo, you got your village around. Figure this out now. And then that's when Liv start going and figuring it out. And then let's go to Spence. The good part of Spence, we're going to talk about the other stuff later. The good part of Spence is he stepped up for Liv when she needed it, and it costed him his relationship, right? Because he's with Alicia. I felt so sorry for Alicia when she came in with the pancakes. I felt even more bad because I couldn't finish her name at first. I had to go back through my notes. I'm like, what's this girl name? <laughs> I was going to be on her calling her Charlene for a minute. I'm like... Nah, this ain't Charlie. I was listening to uh 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 Anthony Hamilton. But uh I almost called her the wrong name, man. But she just ain't have no chance. And then, you know, Spence Lee would live like he was supposed to do, cause he gotta be there for. I mean, what he gonna do? Just I right, well, you could wait, you could miss your AA meeting, or you could go by yourself. No, nah, he go with her, lose Alicia, and when he's out with her. They bond. I mean, they really bond. Have a nice day at the corner for at the first wheel. He, you know, gave us some pointers to help her, you know, um, get through this. Because remember, he lost his dad too, right? So he giving her pointers to help her get through this. And that's one of the best things about all American. Got to get the writers, they salutes, and just everybody involved. Because they do put certain situations in the show. That could help the younger people that's watching get through it. 
right? Because we all deal with loss as you get older, them high school years, them college years. Some deal with loss even before that, like Layla, right? Because she lost her mom when she was younger. We all deal with loss, and they helping uh, people deal with it as they watch the show. Like, man, I can relate to that. Oh, man, you know, that's something I can do. And Spence gave Liv a great point of, yo, this something you could do when you're in situations like this. And Liv did it, and it helped. And as she went through each place, she with Laura, she with uh, Jordan. Every time she would go with somebody, she with Coop, it would help her. You know, so everybody stepped in. And it was so dope at the end, man. When you had uh, Jordan making the jambalaya, or everybody making it. Jordan wasn't really cooking. Everybody making it, but they get to see Jordan and Layla in front of everybody. Everybody find out. It was a dope moment. I love how they wrote that. And then Coop cracked the joke. That was perfect. And then Liv starts her podcast. So she's channeling that energy to help other people. Oh, man, that's the one, son. That's what you're supposed to do. She channel that energy to help other people. And side note, <laughs> I hate to say it, but yo, Liv was looking good at the first, at the beginning. She was sad and stuff, but she, <laughs> she was looking good, but she was sad. But she's starting her podcast. She helping people, which is what you're supposed to do when you go through something. You realize, oh, it's other people going through this. And if you're in a position to help, help, man. Give back. And after she records her podcast, she goes back to the school. Now, she's been there for her mom, Laura, because she's thinking like, dang, my mom really going through it, too. Yeah. You know, when they was having that conversation, they were sitting down. I think they were playing a scramble, scrabble, or monopoly. They were playing a game. And she you know, was talking to her mom, her mom say, yo, you know, I've been going through stuff too, and she like, why you ain't tell me, I didn't want to tell you, you know, because as a parent, you definitely don't want to be putting your stress on the kids, you know what I'm saying, that ain't how it's supposed to work, you see, the older generation don't put their stress on you, you put your stress on the older generation, that makes more sense than the other way around, now, in this episode, you also got the scene of Billy actually passing away. What actually happened, bruh? All of America. <laughs> y'all be hidden, y'all be hidden, y'all be hidden, and then y'all miss. Everybody miss sometime, and it just, y'all miss with this whole Billy. Don't show us that scene no more. Nothing from that scene. Billy gone, Billy gone. <laughs> Because it's even more like, what? He on the bus. <laughs> Everybody miss sometimes, man. If you a show, they been going five seasons. Sometimes with certain scenes, they miss. So I ain't mad at them. I still hold them in high regards. So this ain't no diss, all right? Because I watch a lot of shows. Everybody miss sometimes. But, bruh, he on the bus. He like, all right, we going to go one at a time. Jabari, you go. Then... Jabari gets off the bus. He don't even move. <laughs> like he didn't move at all. Bruh, if the bus is about to fall, I'm about to <laughs> you know, at least try to hit the edge and jump. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even he feel the bus moving and didn't even move at all. He goes, Tell my family I love. I'm like, bruh, nah. Like, they could have, <laughs> they could have did the old cliffhanger where, you know, he jump off and Jabari got him by the hand and then he look up, hey, tell my family I love him, and then fall. You know, they could have did something else. And I'm like, yo, why this boy didn't move at all? Billy, you a fool, Tay Diggs, you a fool for that. Like, you just really ain't going to move, dog. All right. But, so that was that scene. They gave us that scene. That was just funny to me but uh other stuff that happened and this is the last thing i'm gonna touch on and we gonna get out of here man spence and coach kenny bruh spence is wilding and the the wildest part is it's so many ball players just like him 
it's so many ball players that come through high school, come through college, got talent, and don't nobody check them like they supposed to be checked. Just because this boy got talent, ain't nobody really checking him. He needs to be checked. The way he was acting, he need to get put through a glass like dog. Spence is out of control. I know he didn't lost his father. I know he didn't lost like his second father, Billy. But Lebra, you better watch your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Discipline. Oh man. Man, man, man. Ain't no way. Bruh, I would have been like, what? I'd have got this close enough to smell his breath. What? Nigga, let me put you through this glass, boy. Watch your mouth, kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Spence be wildin', man. He need to get checked, man. But great episode overall. I know I be going in on that one scene, how Billy passed and all that. But still a great episode, man. It was a lot in this episode. Emotionally, a lot to unpack. You know, I tried to touch on a lot of things on the review. I will be doing other videos throughout the week, though, where I'm going to touch on different stuff, man. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the episode, though. It's Smack the Guru. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Check out the other content. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.